contracts and we're going to be late. I'm running as fast as I can. It's hard getting dressed at the same time, you know. You would not be dressing if you had got up on time. Now listen, I'm the star pupil of school. Mom and Dad put me in charge of you. And I won't let my idiot twin brother get me late. Are we clear? <laughs> As Crystal. Don't worry, sis. I believe we'll make it by the bell. What happened to get this? If only I earned one penny every time you say that, Jackson. Hey man, what's up? Have you downloaded the game yet? Not yet, but I will after I... If you have anything important to say, please share with the class. <laughs> uh, not really, miss. That's what I thought. Now I will be pairing everyone for the science project. Now remember, I want everyone to put together a project that has to do with the topic of energy. And I would like to start pairing Juliet and Jackson together. What? what? Jackson, your grades are slipping. You can use the guidance from your sister. Juliet, you should try to help your brother. He can use the improvement and you can count this as experience. He's too lazy. She has too many rules, miss. Too bad, I've made up my mind. Sucks. That means we can't do science projects together. Yeah, like the time we blew up the lab. Jackson! It's funny that I get to blame for everything. Yeah, I really do. Jackson has messed with the equipment for some ridiculous prank! Jackson had let loose the spiders in the lab and placed them in Alice's hair. Jackson had caused a big mess in the canteen with a silly food fight! It's like I've been branded as the evil twin. That is... not something you should be proud of. What are you doing anyway? I've taken the liberty at studying his schedule. Uh, whose schedule? Are you pranking Barry? That's insane. Do you want to die? Not insane, but crazy. Do you want me to do the honors? Jackson, I'm your best friend. 
This might kill you, so I won't do it. Alright, I will. Wait. I can't see. <laughs> Jackson, let's leave now. Oh, our fun is far from over. What's that? A bag of marbles. This will teach Barry not to mess with the prank master. I know who would pull that point. <laughs> Jackson! Oh, right. I saw him going that way, I swear! Jackson... Now is the time to run. Agreed. Barry, <laughs> calm down. It's only a joke. Just a joke? So you think it's funny? Do you know what else I think is funny? <laughs> uh, no. But I don't think I want to know. I know what'll be funny if you three don't go back to your forms! 3.30. Be here or else. Relief. So, what are you gonna do now? Just avoid this situation. Besides, I got more important places to be. That also means you two. Get back to your forms. Break time is over. All right, sir. We're going. Yeah. Got you. Where are you going off to? We have unfinished business. And I thank you for your business. However, we have reached the end of your business hours. So please come back again tomorrow and uh, thank you for choosing Lemon. Ah. Get up. Alright, but I'm warning you, I got a black belt. Then hurry up and show me. So remember, if you have any problems, just give me a call. Thank you. So, when should we meet up again? Let's say... What's going on here? Charlie, would you care to explain what's going on? Barry and Jackson are settling a fight. Would you care to tell me why? Jackson pulled a prank on him. Get out of the way. I am busy trying to kill your brother here, and I don't find that's too bad. Now, out of my way. Uh, sis, come near, brother. You don't have to do that, Julia. I was doing fine on my own. That was embarrassing. Do you know what's embarrassing? Having a brother who publicly fights with a person twice his strength and not realizing who he represents. He represents the people who care for him, like his twin sister. I didn't mean it that way. I mean, it was only a joke. Up there! What now? If it's one of your stupid pranks? No, honest! Alright, I'll...
I think one of them fell into the park. Let's go! Jackson! All of these humans drives me insane. They keep stomping on me and screaming all the time. Oh, it's a snake. Nobody likes to be with a snake. Well, you better watch it when snakes rule the world. Some kind of cosplay? <clears throat> Actually, I am just your worst nightmare. They call me the Serpent King. Come on, Jackson, we need to catch the train. Wait! Look at it, at its strange patterns. I think it can help in the project. Really, Jackson? A colorful glowing ball? You've been reading too much comic books, Jackson. Oh yeah? There's another ball nearby I found this one. Go and see for yourself. Alright, I will. <laughs> ah! Jackson! Are you alright? That... that ball shocked me. On second thought, I think you're onto something, Jackson. I believe these are energy balls and will help us in the project. Careful, they are evil. Don't worry, I will handle them with care, unlike what you did. What is that supposed to mean? I don't know how to tell you this, but you're fired. Fired? You don't understand, I need this job. No! You don't understand. This is a respectful scientific research company and all you do is babble on about elemental energy. On top of that, it has gotten worse since the comet flew by earlier today. So, you're fired. Now get out of my sight. What am I to do? How am I going to live? Rob a bank? Beg on the streets? Well, hello there. Who said that? Over here. I hear you are looking for work. Is that true? Well, yes, but... Well, you are in luck, my friend. I am in the area searching for enthusiastic scientists and open for application. That sounds wonderful. How do I apply? Actually, you can start work immediately, my friend. Immediately? What company? Oh, there is no company. Just loyalty. Work for me, and you will have the whole world on your feet. The whole world? Sounds a bit much. I believe in you and elemental energy. Together, we can show the world and the world can benefit from it. All you have to do is join me. I suppose I don't have much choice. I don't have much to lose. Where do I sign, mister? Oh, your loyalty is just fine. You can call me Master. Or Serpent. King. 
Jackson, Juliet, come down before you miss the bus to school. Coming, Mom. Whoa. Hey, Juliet. <laughs> do, do you notice? Do you notice anything weird? Yeah, apparently those energy balls were elemental energy. Somehow we have been exposed, and it is changing us. Look, we don't tell anybody and keep our hands to ourselves. Okay? All right. What's going on here? Why is Mr. Smith outside and nobody is going in? Apparently there's a maniac who can breathe fire who's causing a lot of mayhem in the city. There's a good chance school may close today. I hope everyone here has been watching the news lately. Apparently there's a green, fire-breathing maniac causing mayhem in town who calls himself the Serpent King. Due to the possible dangers, schools and businesses throughout the city have been closed. I have decided to follow suit and close school until further notice. Please direct yourselves to the appropriate bus to make your journey home. The staff and I will be phoning all of your parents. Serpent King, huh? You don't suppose a third person has encountered one of those five balls? I believe so. No one must know, otherwise we will be on the most wanted list. Don't tell anyone, including mom and dad. I guess we're all freaks then. I got it! I got it, Juliet! I know what we can do. Because we are given these unique powers, I believe we are the only ones who are able to stand up to the Serpent King out of everyone in the city. So follow me, sis, to victory and glory! Why did you do that for? Stopping you from doing something stupid. So are you going to allow the Serpent King to destroy our city? What would Captain Utopia do? You forgot one thing, Jackson. Captain Utopia is undercover. You are not. Are you going to tell the whole world Jackson is a freak? I guess you're right. Can you make a costume? I believe I can do it. I mean, I have the material and the stuff to help complement your electrical powers and such. Thanks for volunteering! I love you! Bye-bye! Ugh, <sighs> the brother of mine. Still, that's not a bad idea. Good morning, new costume! Alright, so how do I fly? Up, up, and away! Go yellow! Fly away! Shoo! Nothing works! What is this? I don't feel so good. I knew I should have taken flying lessons. Uh, who are you? My... My name is Yellowbird, and... And I will bring you to justice. <laughs> You're joking, right? You can't fly, and you can't talk right? How am I supposed to expect that you can fight? Ha! Go. 
go and fetch the van. I want this fool as a prisoner to make an example of these utopians. Yellow shock. Da! You shocked me. I see. You are of the yellow element. Now that changes everything. You're mine, little birdie! Uh, well, it's been nice playing with you, but I have a train to catch. See you later. Get back here! I gotta practice my landing some more. Quite right. Because you never know who might be there when you land. Serpent King, how did you get here so fast? Ah. I am one of the elements too. Or did you forget? I am the element of fire. It can be pretty quick too. However, I must admit I am more professional using my element than you are. Serpent King, I am injured and cannot fight you anymore. Looks like you crash-landed too many times. I mean it. Step away. But I want you, yellow bird of the yellow element. All right. I surrender. Ah, that's a good bird. <laughs> I am sorry, sis. Please, come for me. Like you.